Leaked. New female robot. Weekly Boston Dynamics News. Boston Dynamics remains to be a forerunner in the world of technology and robotics. Let's get the latest scoop from the Boston Dynamics sphere. CNTXT and Boston Dynamics collaboration. CNTXT, a leading cloud and digital transformation company in Saudi Arabia, just this week signed a Memorandum of Understanding, or MOU, with Boston Dynamics, a global leader in mobile robotics. The aim is to accelerate the adoption of its spot robot for autonomous inspection and AI-based data processing at industrial sites in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia to make operations more efficient, safe, and sustainable. The key to this partnership is that it brings together industry-leading hardware, cloud and software solutions. This represents a significant opportunity to transform asset-heavy industries in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia," said Abdullah Jarwan, CEO of CNTXT. CNTXT, Google Cloud's reseller and distributor for cloud solutions in the Kingdom and the exclusive reseller of Cognite Data Fusion in the MENA region, will be a preferred partner of Boston Dynamics for commercial industrial robotics applications and engagements in the Kingdom. To turn the data that robots collect into business value, industrial companies need software that makes data insights available and meaningful, said Jarwan. By integrating Cognite Data Fusion with Boston Dynamics Spot Robot, we can collect all the raw data, process it, and make insights available to all data consumers. Contextualizing large amounts of raw data is key toward helping companies conduct more effective autonomous inspections using robots. Reliable data collection and analysis will help drive scale for industrial AI solutions and applications, which will save workers time and improve safety by reducing the need for people to access hazardous environments. Boston Dynamics to Invest $400 Million Remember how Hyundai Motor Group was so impressed by the robot dogs and humanoid bots developed by Boston Dynamics that it decided to acquire a majority stake in the robotics firm in 2020? Well, the two companies are now ready to take their relationship to the next level with the formation of the Boston Dynamics AI Institute. The car manufacturer and the MIT spin-off will make an initial investment of more than $400 million in the new organization, which will be led by Mark Ryber, founder of Boston Dynamics. At its core, Boston Dynamics AI Institute will be a research-oriented establishment. It will work on solving some of the most important and difficult challenges facing the creation of advanced robots. Combining the best features of university research labs with those of corporate development labs, the Institute's work will focus on four technical areas – cognitive AI, athletic AI, organic hardware design, as well as ethics and policy. Stressing that the mission is to create future generations of advanced robots and intelligent machines that are smarter, more agile, perceptive, and safer than anything that exists today, Ryber says, we need to make robots smarter, more agile and dexterous, and generally easier to use, more like people. Once we do that, robots and other types of intelligent systems will increase productivity, free people from dangerous work, care for the disabled, and generally help people live better lives. Boston Dynamics AI Institute will be headquartered in the heart of the Kendall Square Research Community in Cambridge, Massachusetts. It plans to hire AI and robotics researchers, software and hardware engineers, and technicians at all levels. A robot workforce, nothing to fear. The CEO of Boston Dynamics says more warehouse operators are considering a robot workforce after COVID-19 exposed health vulnerabilities at logistics hubs. His comments come as Amazon warns it could run out of workers by 2024. They have almost 100% turnover in logistics jobs, like picking and packing boxes, Robert Plater told media. We've definitely seen with our industrial or warehouse customers that interest in robotics has only increased during the pandemic. Boston Dynamics has shown its stretch robot is smart enough to react to a stack of boxes suddenly falling over and clean up the mess. The company plans to release a new robot every three to five years aimed at mastering a new workplace task. But Plater says the key is Boston Dynamics looks for the sweet spot between what the labor market needs and what its robots are capable of doing. Asked if robots will push human labor out of warehouses, he said, I think a lot of the manual work will be done by robots, but robots aren't as smart as people yet and you have to deal with unexpected circumstances. Plater says he envisions an upskilling path for workers to become robot operators. 
The robot, its intelligence, handles a lot of the complexities. You just have to give it very high-level commands about what to do, sort of point it in a direction, or lay down a route, and it will autonomously do that work on its own, he said. It won't take a college degree to operate them. Inside the amazing Do You Love Me video. The man who designed some of the world's most advanced dynamic robots was on a daunting mission programming his creations to dance to the beat with a mix of fluid, explosive, and expressive motions that are almost human. The results? Almost a year and a half of choreography, simulation, programming, and upgrades that were capped by two days of filming to produce a video running at less than three minutes. The clip, showing robots dancing to the 1962 hit Do You Love Me by The Contours, was an instant hit on social media, attracting more than 23 million views during the first week. It shows two of Boston Dynamics humanoid Atlas research robots doing the twist, the mashed potato, and other classic moves, joined by Spot, a dog-like robot, and Handle, a wheeled robot designed for lifting and moving boxes in a warehouse or truck. Boston Dynamics founder and chairperson Mark Rybert says what the robot maker learned was far more valuable. It turned out that we needed to upgrade the robot in the middle of development in order for it to be strong enough and to have enough energy to do the whole performance without stopping. So, that was a real benefit to the design, Ryber says. Into communities through a federal back door. Robot dogs are getting smarter. Robot dogs are four-legged metal robots with articulated joints that enable them to move over smooth and uneven terrain. They don't have heads or tails, or even look much like dogs, but they can cover ground, climb, carry loads, and now, with added sensors and cameras, collect data on the areas and people around them. With modern upgrades, the Boston Dynamics Spot Robots and those from their rival, Ghost Robotics, have been rebranded from pack assistants to full-featured mobile surveillance data platforms. Each robot dog manufacturer touts different features and use cases, but they share surveillance as a common main feature. In early demos, robot dogs debuted as pack mules and were shown carrying soldiers' payloads during forest treks. As they have become commercialized, new upgrades have given robot dogs sensors, colored cameras, increased mobility, and surveillance-enhancing features. These new capabilities have further piqued the interest of both federal and local law enforcement agencies who have been strategizing as to how they might be used in more local contexts. Local law enforcement robot dog trials have failed in the past due to citizen outcry, and for now, the focus has shifted outside of cities as the federal government plans to pilot them at the border through the Department of Homeland Security. This doesn't mean that they won't be back. The DHS enforces borders, which include the ports in major cities, as well as immigration areas, which could be anywhere. Thus, the agency's robot dogs could be wandering the streets of our cities sooner than we might expect. If that happens, how we are able to protest the tech or object to its presence will become more complicated. That's all for this video, folks. See you another time.